I bought this camper trailer for $800. And in this video, we are gonna take it camping. Of course, we absolutely love building cars and go-karts on this channel, but I also absolutely love the outdoors and going camping. Lately, I decided it was time to upgrade. So I jumped on Facebook Marketplace and that is when I found this gem. So this is a homemade six by nine camper trailer. And although it looks a little rough around the edges, this thing has everything that we need to have a comfortable camping experience. As you can see, it's got a rooftop tent. It also has an awning. So inside here we have full 12 volt power with LED lighting. That's all powered by a car battery. We also have USB inputs to charge our phones and we have extendable LED lighting for the awning as well. As you can see, this thing has plenty of storage. And it's basically the perfect wee camper trailer for myself, my partner Tara, and our two dogs to head away camping. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. First things first, let's pull out the camper and get it cleaned up. So that is already looking a hundred times better just from a quick pressure wash. So while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and install a light bar on our Prado. We built this thing on the channel. I bought it for $3,000. It was an absolute mess and we basically overhauled the whole thing and it's been absolutely flawless as a tow car over the past year, towing the race cars, being a daily driver. This thing has over 390,000 kilometers on it and it honestly still drives like it's new. It's absolutely crazy. I love this thing. It is the V6 petrol model, slightly thirsty. That's the only complaint that I would have about it but to be fair it doesn't really bother me that much so we're headed to the Murray River in New South Wales here in Australia for our camping trip and there are a lot of kangaroos and they love to cross the road right in front of your car at night so I went down and saw the crew at Autobahn and got ourselves a 20 inch rough country light bar as well as a wiring harness because I am absolutely terrible at wiring so this will help us out a bunch so here is a beautiful new light bar and I really want to mount it like in this little cutout that's in the front bull bar because I'm not going to use an electric winch on this thing so and also there's two different spots for the winch anyway. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and whip up some tabs quickly and weld them to the bull bar so that we can just literally, boom, bolt this in just like that and then we can go ahead and wire it up. the finished product. Looks really tidy. I ended up drilling in rib nuts and putting the number plate below the light bar and it looks just really tidy like that. Super happy. So time has gotten away from me tonight. It always does when you're packing up and getting ready to go camping. So I'm gonna load up the trailer now, throw it on the back of the Prado and tomorrow morning we are heading off camping. So it is the following day. Here's my beautiful girlfriend, Tara. Hi. I know there's a bunch of new subscribers on the channel. If you don't know her, this is Tara. Nice to meet you. Oh, that was awkward. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and the rig is fully loaded, ready to go. How good does the light bar look? You like it? I like it. That's fancy, Can't we huh? see how bright it is? Everything's all fully loaded. Looks awesome. Absolutely loving the camper trailer. Cannot wait to get this thing set up at the campground. And of course, I've got to introduce you guys to our two dogs. This is Ava. She's a Kelpie. This is Cole. He's a Husky. We go to a dog-friendly camping ground, which is perfect. Perfect for us because we love to take the dogs on all of our trips. And they love to come with us. They do. They do. So we're about to hit the road. Let's freaking go. What? Oh, sun's out too. Ooh. So good. Ooh. So we've arrived. The trip was pretty good. The girls are here. She's already on the, the good stuff. But the fun part begins now because we get to set up the trailer. So it's a super simple setup. Literally, we put these four legs down onto the ground, make sure she's nice and level. Yep. And then this is just literally four clips. One, Tara's gonna do the others. <laughs> Two, three, four. And then some gas struts. So it literally just pushes up. And just like that, the, the rooftop tent's already taken care of. It's so simple. The best setup. Look at that. Legs straight down. Handy SP Tools rattle gun. So the 
camper trailer is all set up. That took about 15 minutes and this whole thing is ready to go. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour. Tara's just chilling here. We worked up a sweat. It's a hot day today. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a really simple setup. It's still a little bit messy, but we've got the barbecue, obviously, the kettle and everything like that here. We come around to the rooftop tent. This thing is so good. Yeah. Absolutely love this. Tara's panicking because the bed is not made. This is what we have to sleep in, and we've got a nice fan in here. This is freaking awesome, hooked up to the battery setup. It actually works an absolute treat. It's got a high and low setting, and that thing literally helps us sleep at night because it's so freaking hot. But we find that's plenty enough for both Tara and I. Actually, we absolutely love sleeping up there. It's so freaking good. But for $800, this thing has been an absolute steal for us. But we have worked up an absolute appetite, so we are about to cook ourselves a freaking lunch. We're going to make some sandwiches, some burgers, so uh, we might as well take you guys along for the ride. This is a different style vlog for me. We might as well just keep going because I'm enjoying this. But let's cook a freaking feed. This is living, baby. How freaking good. All right, so our tummies are all full now. I've cooked up some bait on the barbecue because we are about to go fishing. That's right, this has turned into a fishing and camping YouTube channel. No more go-karts, just fishing and camping. I'm kidding, this is probably the only video ever that you're gonna see like this, but enjoy it. We're gonna go catch some bloody monsters right now. So this is the fishing spot that we've chosen out here on the point. It's such a beautiful place here, it's actually insane. There's actually a storm rolling in as we speak, so right back through here, it's getting nice and dark in the clouds, but hey, bit of rain doesn't stop us. We are good to go. So here's the bait that we've chosen. We've got some sausages that I cooked up that were expired and out of date, and I've also got some chicken that was left over from dinner. All right, we're starting with the chicken bait. Let's see how she goes. So I've got these little bells here that you throw on the line so that you can hear when it's biting. Boom, just like that. So now we sit and we wait. So good. All right, we've got the bites going on right now. Come on. Oh, and we're on. Do you think we're on? Yes, we're on. Let's go. You can hold this, eh? Get away already. Oh, um. There we go. Look at that. The first catch of the day. How good. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, that thunder's cool. Oh, that was so good. Up. Look at that, number two, and in the storm as well. Just a baby one. So our fishing expedition was cut slightly short by this pretty, pretty crazy storm. <laughs> it's actually hard to see on camera, but has been smashing down at the moment. A bolt of lightning landed just over there on the corner. I've never seen lightning hit the ground before, so that was pretty cool. I just went to check on the camp before. I couldn't tell you guys because it was absolutely like belting down. I got completely soaked. It's definitely going to test whether the rooftop tent is waterproof at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty crazy, which is kind of fun. We've got coffee. The cup is very appropriate. Cheers. Well, we're now cozy and wrapped up in our rooftop tent. Can you even see you? There you are. Hi. The storm got pretty crazy, so we decided to call it a night. We're here, we're just gonna watch some Netflix, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is actually our last night. We've done a bunch of stuff. We actually had some really good friends with us. I didn't vlog while we had them here, but we had a really good time, didn't we? Yes. And something pretty awesome happened. What happened? We got engaged. That's right. <laughs> we did, so yeah, I kinda just enjoyed myself and took all the memories in. Still, I'm gonna see you guys bright and early in the morning pack up the trailer and head home so that we can keep building a bunch of cars for 2024. But I'll see you guys in the morning. See you in the morning. Peace. Bye. Bye. Another beautiful day in paradise. <sighs> Luckiest dude alive. And just like that, our $800 camper trailer is now all packed up, worth every freaking penny. This thing is so good. A couple of upgrades that need to be done and a couple of things that need to be fixed up. There was a pop rivet that came loose on the awning here that I need to fix. So I've just thrown a couple of cable ties on that just so we can get home safely for 800 bucks. You absolutely cannot complain. This thing's been so good. And that wraps up this video, guys. What a start to 2024. It's gonna be an insane year. I'd love to hear your ideas for what builds you'd like to see in the comments below. I know this was a little bit of a different video 
for the channel. But I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of life outside the workshop and what we get up to. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one. We're going to get freaking rowdy this year. It's going to be good. Peace. Bye. $800 camper trailer. So good. Oh, that was so good. Oh, there we go. Look at that.